All right, guys, quick little video here, just a quick little detailing video. So I'm always detailing, you know, my BMW or my Jeep or whatever. And, uh, you know, they're, they're looking real good, but there's nothing wrong with getting um, a, a minivan detailed in and looking fine. Um, so I'm at my parents' house right now, and I just wanted to share this with you guys. This is the uh, the after. I already had the, uh, the, you know, the before, and I took care of it, but I'll just kind of go go around and give you a quick walk around um, spent several hours getting this thing um, looking much better not polished or anything like that but I'll just kind of go through everything I did to it if you guys want to you know if you're interested in that kind of thing um, because you can always get a regular daily uh, vehicle detail dialed in and you know looking much better than it was especially when they picked it up they've had this for a little bit now um, the only thing I haven't done is the window, so if they look real streaky, I'll be taking care of that after this video. So first off, I did a paint preparation. So this is a very, very basic process what, that I had to do here because I don't have all my products with me. I brought some with me, but I didn't have everything. So the, the, what I did to uh, strip anything that was on there that, uh, you know, if there was a little bit of wax still in there from when they had it detailed. I used Dawn, so that's kind of a no-no in the detailing world, but you have to work with what you've got. So that's a very important lesson. Um, it was more important to do the prep and get it done and do a very good job um, as far as you know the process goes and that sort of thing. So I did use Dawn. Unfortunately, I don't have any um, you know chemical guys, clean slate, which is what I usually prefer, but I used that as the prep and then I uh, just blew it off. I did uh, some iron out. I used my iron out lemon scent, which is uh, does smell a little bit better than cherry, so that's kind of a little comprehensive review on that. If you're debating between cherry and lemon, I've used cherry a lot, but the lemon smells less worse. You can say that <laughs> it doesn't smell good, but it doesn't smell as bad as the cherry, in my opinion. So that that lifts, you know, all the um, any particles, rail dust iron of course anything I had a little sample size you know several ounces so I got most of the car to my best of my abilities so I did the iron out and then I hosed it down and the second thing I did was a nano skin auto scrub pad which uh, let me grab right here that's this thing if you guys have ever used it this is just a medium pad and this is great actually it's excellent for travel because I'm just gonna take it back with me no clay bar um, and the iron out before that made this much easier and I had a sample of some McGuire's detail spray that I use as lubricant with this as long along with water hose it down dried it off and um, first thing I did was the uh, Menzerna power lock did one coat of that and I did one coat of colonite um, and I do have some mother's wheel and tire cleaner that I did first actually I forgot to mention so Tires are not scrubbed, but uh, you know the, the mothers did a you know a decent job, an okay job. Um, maybe not up to my normal standards, but it's better than nothing. Excuse the neighbor. I don't know what the heck he's doing over there, spraying stuff. Um, did not do any sort of polish or paint correction. Unfortunately, a car and this car really really needs it, being a black, huge car. Um, definitely needs a paint correction. I'm. Assuming that you guys can see it in the sun, you know, it's just, uh, unfortunately, you know, the uh, washing proce procedures for this car haven't always been as good as they could be, but my parents are very uh, willing to accept my obsessiveness and willing to go over the top. So they picked up some microfibers in there. Um, they have some uh, detail spray that I, that I showed them. It's just basic stuff as a drying agent. So stuff like that, but that's gonna do it guys. I don't want to do a terribly long video, but this is just gonna be a quick one take, a walk around and little review. Um, the colonite's gonna hold up real well. This car sits outside a lot. So the power lock underneath is a you know great combo to have. In the future, I will do a coating on this car. So you'll see this car again. Um, I definitely will do a coating. I don't know if it's C-Quartz or whatever. I'll do a lot of research, but this is the kind of car that needs a coating. There's no need for them to have it waxed. They're just gonna coat it, leave it, let it, you know, have it coated for a year or however long, and um, it'll be great from there. Easy, easy, easy maintenance. So 
that's gonna do it and um, I'll check in with you guys next time hopping on an airplane soon here and I'll be back in Ohio so I'll see you then